So you normally I would be getting food at the typical Sainsbury's local across there. But if I really want to treat myself and I feel like I deserve it in the morning, I'll get breakfast from the Gold Coast Cafe because they do like a great full English breakfast, like perfect. I haven't tried anything else from there because of that. <laughs> um, but I feel like if something's not broke, don't fix it in it. So I saw a lot of people that would say one thing and then do another thing. And I was just wondering why it is that they were doing that. And in researching that, I came across psychology as the study of the mind. And it gives explanations for why it is that people decide to do certain things. So when I saw that I could do that at sixth form and also saw that I could do that at university, it's opened up new opportunities for me and new interests in me, such as magic. Uh, also that eyewitness testimony doing that in first year also helped me to learn that maybe I have an interest in forensic psychology and I might want to do that. Maybe use your friends. Yeah, um, I've been trying to do that. Just bugging people, hey, can you do study? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I think probably it sounds to me like if you aim for about 30 participants or so, okay. that should probably be enough. All of the evidence that you're going to include in an essay has to be supported. Okay. Um, <laughs> with so reference as well. I have to say well. found this. I have to say who. The interesting thing about Gustav's module is that it's probably one of the most unique out of all of the 15 modules I think I was offered. Although some people are doing the module specifically for the understanding of the magic, I feel like doing it for the um, diversions of attention and the way that our attention really isn't as powerful as we think it is. Like, did you know that the outside of our, um, of our view is apparently in black and white? If you didn't do his module or if you didn't do cognitive psychology in second year, you probably wouldn't know that. So I'm definitely doing that module for third year. The thing about Gustav that I really appreciate is that he pays attention to um, what it is that we need in order to go forward in our careers. Like we had an actual session last week, two weeks ago, my bad, um, about interviewing and how different interviewing skills will be needed in order to go forward in our careers. We came in with mock job descriptions and I was having to answer all these questions on the spot like it was a real interview. Like he doesn't have to do this. But he does, he cares about us, and I really, really appreciate that. He's a great mentor, and I'm really glad that I have him. From the open day and the applicant day, I saw myself studying here, whereas I didn't see that same vision in other universities. I didn't really talk in a lot uh, in sixth form and secondary school, whereas he has really opened me up because of the openness of other people. Being, because I'm able to just speak to people and they're so easy to talk to and the conversation can just flow back and forth, um, so seamlessly when it really opens you up to more experiences. So definitely the people of Goldsmiths and the uniqueness of these people at Goldsmiths is what uh, attracted me here more. Smash Bros, Street Fighter, Naruto, um, what else do we play? Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Gaming Society has their own games and then we actually provide them so they come in and they just sit down and play with the consoles that we have. It is pretty cool. And we get these huge projectors as well. Um, so we just put the games on a huge screen, screen like 70 inches or something. It's ridiculous. Um, and it's just a community in which they can play with other people. Wait, are you dead? What happened?